Welcome to the Temple of Contemplation, Mr. Monty. Consider this a place to reflect on why you would eliminate half of the unique categories. Just to make room for nine special categories that may or may not even be in next year's Uniboards. Thank you for your hospitality, Priestess. One of the subtle problems with awards shows is their rigid nature. Giving the same awards over and over doesn't allow for any real evolution of the program. It becomes stale. Change for change's sake, or difference for the sake of being different, is as capricious and dangerous as the wind. If you have no destination, then you can never arrive. I assure you, Priestess, each of these categories and nominees were chosen carefully. I only hope the voters were as careful in choosing the winners. As for which of these categories will return in next year's Uni Awards, or what new ones we may see, who can say? That is the point of the special categories. Be careful that, in your quest to establish a unique identity for your awards show, you do not leave it without any identity at all. Well, here are the winners of the special categories. For Best Hero Villain Encounter, Bilbo and Smog, from The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. For Best Romance, Art and Julia, from Warm Bodies. Best Artificially Intelligent Character is Samantha from her. Best Aliens are the Formix from Ender's Game. Best Monsters are the Orcs, Spiders, and the Dragon, from The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. The Best Witch of 2013 is Elsa from Frozen. The Best and Dead are the zombies from World War Z. The best apocalyptic moment was the outbreak in World War Z. And the best post-apocalyptic world is Pan Am of the Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Thank you for watching the Uni Awards and to everyone who voted for their favorite sci-fi and fantasy movies of 2013. I hope that you will all return later this year for the video game, literature, and television Uni Awards and contemplate on sci-fi and fantasy as ways of exploring the possibilities of the impossible. Science fiction is the search for truth, not fact. If it's fact you're interested in, Dr. Jones's archaeology class is right down the lane.